Welcome to the small village of Ahmed in the island of Bali. Hi, I'm Stu, I'm a backpacker from England and I've been traveling for roughly about four months and within Indonesia, I've been here for just under a month. With my visa running out, I needed to see as much as I can of the island of Bali. got here about three hours ago and already I've had a look around and it is not very touristy at all however there is a lot of building work going on there's paths being built all around the village and this is the main road in fact it's the only road through the village and I'm staying in a hostel that is cheap which I'll show you in a minute just further on down there and the beach is, as we're looking through here, on the right hand side, through there, which I'm going to take it down in a minute. So before here I was in Pedang Bai, I managed to get a, I wouldn't say cheap, but a cheap taxi ride down here, that was 400,000. took about an hour to get here and I'm just trying to miss out on this traffic because it is a bit difficult so our people coming here is tourists who are trying to get away from the the touristy side of Bali there is nice hostels there are nice hotels around here and for somewhere that is not in the touristy area, there is plenty to do. Oh, lots of bikes. As I said, this is the main road. Even though they're still building it. So yeah, so some of the best beaches in Bali are around here. There is a lot of wrecks to go diving through. I had to stop filming there because the noise was getting a bit too much. So as I was saying, there is plenty to do around here in Ahmed. And I was going to stay just for the one night, just to see what it was like. And already I've extended for an extra night. But right now I'm heading towards the beach and already well, you can see a few temples. Cars behind me. Okay. Tourism is on the rise around Ahmed and they have a few diving schools so you can do diving for a bit more cheaper around here than elsewhere in Bali. In fact you can just see some guys over there just finishing off a dive or just going about out for one. Now all the beaches around here although they are meant to be quite good they're all black sand because of uh, the nearby volcano but I will be going out to see some tomorrow This is the beach. Try and find my way down.
and there's the black sand but all the way along and then going back this way all the way along that way to the very end is boats so many boats uh, I did have a walk down here earlier on and there was nobody here as tourists on the beach at all I have been told snorkeling out there is actually quite good and the visibility in the water is worth going in however further on that way for about 20 minutes is another beach with no boats on it which is meant to be so much better so my plan for tomorrow is to hire a bike for the day and explore but for the meantime for this video only I'm just going to show you around this village what there is of this village and then show you what there is to see when I arrived here a few hours ago it was just blue skies everywhere with the sun shining down on me but unfortunately see behind me dark clouds are coming and I just heard a bit of thunder which means there could be a storm on its way it is uh, rainy season so it's to be expected you can't have the paradise of sunshine weather every single day right. along the beach itself you have got a few cafes Plenty of coffee if you need one. Wherever I have been on beaches and they've had boats going along, they've always been in bad conditions. These boats look like they're brand new. They look like they are actually used for for something, I assume it's fishing. I've not seen one broken boat along here, which is quite unusual. I am drawing this one because it's got the Union Jack just there. And then dark clouds are getting heavier and closer. Hi. How are you? Good, good. good. Is it broken? Yeah. Uh, is that for fishing? Yeah. Oh wow. That's a lot of work. A lot of work. So I've just come from the beach down there and these back street is taking me to the main road. Hello little dog. So we are back on the main road. Hey! Videoing? Yeah, yeah. Good know how much it costs to get to the next place. 
not going to be handy, you know? As I said earlier, there's a big diving community here. And lots of holes in the path. Yeah. Don't know which is safer, walking on the roads or on the path. So I'm going to have a wander back to the hostel. Just show you around there. Give you an idea of the living conditions that I'm staying in as a backpacker. It's another diving place. And this is where I'm staying. It's the Black Sand Hostel. Reception. Chill area. Toilets and showers over there. And this is my room for the night. Oh, bit dark. So even though there is nobody else here, somebody's just arrived. I'm on the top bunk. I was the first one in this room. I asked for a bottom bunk and they said no. These beds. But not the quietest. There's a shower through there, no toilet, there's a sink for some reason, randomly over there. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit nervous about if I wake up early, but <laughs> whoever's sleeping there is going to be woken up. But I'm here for the next two nights, I've already said to the uh, reception guy, I want to swap for the uh, bottom bunk tomorrow night if there's any available spaces and he's already agreed so this is the room i'm in if i can get back out again but for the price it's actually quite nice so i'm gonna have a quick chill and then get ready to go down grab some food i'll take you with me there's been a shower, the rain came down, uh, he was in the hostel just watching the ground get wet, but it's now finished, it's getting a bit late, it's coming up to quarter six, and it's time to go and grab some food from what I do believe is the Sunset Cafe, and watch the sun go down, so it's just along this road here and they're still working this time of night just trying to dodge these holes In fact, going on the road is probably a bit scary around here because it's two-way traffic. <laughs> and this is back onto the beach. 
you can see the sign there. I love Ahmed. And this is the place. Rooftop sunset. But I'm not too sure how to get up there. I think this is the way. day that restaurant was actually quite nice even more importantly it was quite cheap but as you can see around me it's getting dark in fact there is if I'm turning this camera around very little light in this village and I have read that for stargazers this is a perfect place to come because there's hardly any light pollution but I'm outside the, the hostel. It's time to go in. Sort myself out for the night. Oh, there's a little... Gecko there. But if you enjoyed that video, you've got to press that like button. If you want to subscribe, because tomorrow I've got adventures. So if you want to see the video, best subscribe. But until next time, bye bye for now.